What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. So you've looked at my other video, and you've got your power button working. Well, sort of, like mine was sort of working. Here's how you fix it so on is on and off is off. Check it out. So real quick story, um, yesterday I was uh, relaxing, watching TV, going between my first device TV, second device phone, and I had the both of these machines on, and they were just, uh, you know, the screensaver pops on, and they go through these random games. And the sound came on, and it's like, wow, I was like 10 years old again, I'm like, what? I, I couldn't even recall what the game was at all by the sound, but I knew I knew the sound. I knew I've heard that sound a bazillion times. And so I jumped up and it was it was pole position. And so wow, so I played that for a little bit and had some fun. So I'm saying all all that to say sometimes you have you say, Oh man, there's there's so many games on here, I wanna just reduce the list to almost nothing. That's fine, but let the screensaver at least come on so you can uh, rediscover games that you you owned and and played and just hadn't seen in, in years. And the same thing sort of happened today. I was uh, I was sitting and the thing was on. And I heard this sound. Now I don't know if you've ever played this game or not, but I I played this game a lot and I had no idea. Now this is one of those games that your quarter wasn't intended for when we were little, but somebody was hogging up Galaga or Joust or somewhere else and, and, and you had to take off so you had to play what was available. And so I, I, couldn't, have I couldn't have told you if you showed me this, this uh, the screen itself without the name, I would have never knew, been able to tell you what this was. But I played this game uh, tons when I was younger. Crush Roller, so it's a it's a a pretty decent game. It's it's sort of like Pac-Man without the dots. So your goal is to paint the floor, but these little silly um, cat and mice and all those things will will come and and mar up your paint. So if they come. So you have these two little things, wherever these things are, and they're pretty smart. See there, I'm out. I'm talking. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure why I don't have sound. Oh. Okay. So you have to paint the floor, and these things are chasing you. They're trying to make sure you don't. But you can. You got these little, two little, I don't know what these things are. There's one there, and there's one uh, right here. But you can push these into them, and that's the only way that you can kill those creatures. See there? So you can only kill them, and they're pretty smart. They'll usually go the opposite way when you try to get them. Oh, now see that cat? Uh-oh, whoa. That cat's marking up my thing, so I gotta catch him. And then I have to paint over what he what he marred up. So the objective is to paint the floor. And I gotta get this thing painted before this mouse or cat. Ooh. There you go. So I complete that board. But that's not what you're here for. Just a little bonus. So I've 
had tons of play on this Galaga box and my shine is maybe looking a little duller in some spots but uh, the paint's not going anywhere my power button's gone somewhere oh man what happened stay tuned let's see what's happened in this adventure so if you're like me you have a problem with your power button where it is the reverse of what it should do so see here i have it's currently off but you see the machine is on if i click it to the on position then the machine goes off so a lot of people were saying oh just reverse the button but you know when you do something for the first time you're very cautious and you're like oh i don't know if i'm gonna break it uh and so i'm gonna show you what I've had to do. Now, I just did another Street Fighter machine and it had no glue. This particular Galaga had glue. So all you wanna do is when you take the uh, three screws out, here you take the three screws out and then like you can see here is, is mine is unstuck now, but it was stuck with glue. So what you wanna do is you just take your and again mine is already done so I'm showing you after the fact you just want to take your screwdriver so once you take the screws out hold this here all you want to do is take your screwdriver and, and put it down into the hole here and then just Give it a light uh, tap with your palm and that'll break the connection with the glue and then you do the other side as well make sure that's off or on so you have space and then you just put it in and give it a little bump to uh, break that seal with the glue so once the seal is broken you can flip this over. Now, I need to just kill this power all together. So let me do that. All right. So no power for the machine. And so here is the power button. Got a little bit of glue still holding it on here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me adjust the camera. There we go. So, something's holding on. Almost like I got a screw in there still. Oh, I don't. See, the glue is just holding on. So, I just gotta pop that. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Okay, so, you know, you always have to be careful what you ask for because just yesterday I was saying, you know, I've never soldered anything in my life. I've been in technology and computers. Uh, I may have done it back in college at the beginning, early days. I can't remember. There's nothing that stuck with me anyway. But anyway, I said, I need, I need to find a project to solder. So I have to solder and now I have one because my Galaga power buttons has come off. So this one. So now I'm on my street fighter cabinet. So now I can show you the actual whole way. So I'm gonna take these screws out. Hello. Alright, let's try that again. So we're gonna attempt to Take these screws out. And you see I got all kinds of glue just even on the screw here. Look at that screw. All kind of glue on it. Uh, 
get these other two out. Whitey tidy, lefty Lucy. All right. So when you take these out, this thing doesn't budge at all. It's in there solid. So we're gonna put the control panel back down and just put your screwdriver in there you can see that I'm just gonna punch it get a light punch heard that pop do this one the same way all right and just push through <sighs> open this back up still attached by some glue there we go all right so the the three color the three wires that's volume and the two color is so I'll just just slide that up I slid this little cover off and I just lost that. <laughs> All right, so I just gotta take these little screws out. So what did we learn from between these two cabs is before you go to do this, you wanna make sure your power core is disconnected from the Pi so that this entire assembly is removable see there so this whole thing is removable that way you don't have any tension on those wires and end up and i lost the other piece again all right <laughs> so make sure we got this right side i got the side with the two wires and we're just gonna take these screws out here It isn't always better to have someone else do something before you have to try. You can learn from our mistakes. Now, just flip this power cable around. Let me make sure I don't lose this little tiny screw. Been dropping everything else. Just pick it up and reverse it. All right. This is something you won't have to take off again, but just be careful. Apply pressure so that you don't strip the screw. Okay. All right, so I found my covers. You know, I just need to slide those back down. And just glue this or screw these back in so I just make sure I got these in the right order power is on the left so the three wires will go in the right side maneuver this through these cables be careful with all the cables wires that are around I fix that find my screws Obviously, it's better to do this when you have everything else out. So this is a little tricky, especially with the camera in my way as well. Make sure there's no wires being pinched by this. And this screw looks awfully big, but that's, that's it.
visor wouldn't be that difficult. And, of course, my, see this cable doesn't fit down here, so I just need to plug these things back in. So there's my power cord, I need to feed that so it's available from the back. My USB, plug this back in. And get my button plugged back in, which is the the non-LED, which I think that one doesn't matter which one it goes in, as long as it's in good. And let's test this. Hey Google, game on. All right, got power to all the buttons. The switch is on the off position, so it should go back off. If the script is right. Oh, I don't have it plugged back in. So let me just switch that. Let me go plug that back in. So you can see it's those pins. If you count from the top left, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm actually on seven and eight. So I need to unplug this. Put it up one there. Need something to. Where's my little stick? Oh. Need something to push that in. This should do. That should be the right one this time. Because the white is covering its inside to five and six. All right. So let's go back and try this again. The switch, if I can focus. is on on so I switch to off there you go now it's off all right so it's on off switch it back to on there you go so that's what you uh, have to do to to get your power button to function properly. So if you don't want to uh, have to learn a new soldering technique, then you want to um, make sure you disconnect so you saw where i plugged that power cord into the pie you want to make sure that's unplugged before you start fiddling with this so that you don't have any uh don't have it pulling on anything um and so make sure that you do that before you start working with this so that you don't break that line so now i'm gonna to have to learn how to do that and maybe i'll have a video for that because that's something totally new for me and we'll see if I'm successful. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subs uh, subscribe. Uh, we're almost to that 1,000 mark. I keep saying that, but we keep getting closer. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and uh, until the next video, I'll see you on the web. And one last thing before I leave. Don't sleep on this game here. Asura. Blade and the Sora Buster.
is a Street Fighter type game that is a really nice, a really nice, oh, I gotta put my logo back, a really nice uh, game that's similar to Street Fighter, so it'll go well with your Street Fighter cab. Um, Uh, I won't be able to do it one-handed, but you'll be able to see. Got these characters that you can be. So very similar to Street Fighter where you go from country to country. This little girl right here, Alice, is pretty wild. Two arms, baby. Let's go. Look. See how she throws her like skeleton at you. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, but it's definitely a pretty cool. Uh, one-on-one uh, -on -one fighting game that's uh, it's got some pretty good graphic and characters. So check it out. And guys, smash that like button and make sure you make some comments down there. I want to know I'm doing the right thing for you guys out here. Thanks.